biplane imaging is available in both TEE and TTE modalities. To open biplane imaging, press or click on the biplane button in the ultrasound console. The existing ultrasound image, or primary image, will appear in a blue framed window on the left. The secondary ultrasound image will be positioned on the right and, when selected by double clicking, is framed in pale turquoise. The positions of the ultrasound planes will be represented in the 3D model by corresponding blue and pale turquoise imaging planes. If the 3D heart is sliced in the plane of the ultrasound, the displayed slice can be changed by double clicking over each ultrasound image window to select the desired plane. The controls that manipulate the secondary plane appear in the ultrasound console when biplane imaging is opened. These allow both positioning of the secondary plane within the primary plane and angulation of the secondary plane. The position of the secondary plane within the primary plane can be changed by selecting the biplane cursor button in the control console and dragging the pale turquoise line to the desired position. The changing position of the secondary plane is shown in the 3D heart model. The relative angulation of the two planes is displayed in the ultrasound image windows. The angle between the two imaging planes can be altered by selecting the increase and decrease angle buttons on the ultrasound console. The angulation of the planes is shown in the 3D heart window. The biplane images can be frozen to enable measurements to be made in the usual way. Colour Doppler imaging can be used during biplane imaging. Changes to the region of interest size and position are mirrored in each imaging plane. If pulsed and continuous wave Doppler functions are selected, the displayed ultrasound image will revert to the primary image for cursor placement. To end biplane imaging, either select the biplane button or the 2D ultrasound button in the ultrasound control console.